Hi, it's David, Shark Cookie again. I'm going to do another video about the Tesla Model S. And again, I'm going to make one about the range. Uh, that's still one of the number one questions I get about the car. So last week, I did a video about uh, driving to a place, coming back, and then looking whether the rated range was realistic. And it turned out it was actually pretty spot on. I actually beat the uh, prediction a little bit. But overall, it was kind of like spot on. Um, the only problem with that uh, test was that it was just an isolated drive. It was just like one drive going to a place and coming back. Um, I think a more realistic approach would be the way I use my car on a daily basis. So in my case, I charge it overnight. In the morning, I leave for work. Um, I have to go to different places, usually around town. And then at the end of the day, I come back home. And I think I'm going to be out for a total of eight, nine hours. And um, I think about roughly, I'm going to drive 150, 160 miles, something like that. Depends on how the navigation routes me around town and traffic and all that. So let's keep track of all the energy from start to finish, like a whole day, and then see how uh, realistic the range is that the car gives me. So here we go, we're on the, on the first leg, going on the freeway, looks pretty good, pretty clear, not too much traffic, still a ways to go, energy usage, all under control, looks pretty good. On the way to the studio right now, I'm going to take some photos there, then we're going to go to a second location, and then finally we're going to go to the beach, do some uh, sunset shots, and then obviously I'm gonna back, going to go back home. Still have to watch traffic here. Quick update, um, I arrived at the studio, I done shooting here. And it was a trip of 40.8 miles, and we have 183 miles left. The next trip is to Beverly Hills, just 11 miles, but since there's a lot of traffic, it takes 30 minutes. We'll see how that goes. Doesn't use a lot of energy. That's good. All right, see you there. I have no idea where we are. Waze is getting me through weird neighborhoods here. Still in Lele, but I don't know exactly where I am. Hmm. Oh, we're getting back on the freeway, finally. That's good. That's interesting. The car wants me to go through the hills here. There's some a little bit of mountain driving here. And energy usage a little more than expected, but that's fine. Okay, I just saw five guys. I had to stop. I'm hungry. I'm going to get a quick burger and um, then I'm on my road again. For those who don't know what Five Guys is, it's the best burger place ever. I just realized I forgot to put money in the meter, so I don't want to get a ticket. Hey, there's a Model X. So I gotta run back if the cars will let me. Okay, I finished the burger. I decided not to keep the... Hi, Tesla. <laughs> I decided not to keep the camera running while I eat it. I hope you guys appreciate that. <laughs> Um, I'm a little stuck here. The navigation told me to go through the hills, which is probably not a good idea at this point because there is an accident. At least I don't know what's happening, but we're stuck here. Hey, it's moving a little bit. Anyways, normal daily things that happen while you drive.
All right, quick update. I just arrived in Beverly Hills. 164 miles left. I just got done shooting here in Beverly Hills and off to the next trip. 164 miles left on a battery. Let's see where we're going. We're going to a beach in Malibu, which is 30 miles away, 57 minutes. Crazy. But it's a beautiful drive along the coast. next to us brand new still with dealer plates and then down to the left here is one of uh, the beach homes of one of my former bosses actually two of my bosses have down have um, beach homes here right here I'm not exactly sure which one it is oh actually it's right here Quick update, um, originally it said we were gonna drive less than an hour. We're already well over an hour and still not there. And this time I'm actually using a little more energy than the car thought. Getting closer, almost there, five minutes left. at the beach. I just never get tired of the ocean. It's so pretty. Anyway, so I have to go back home now. And uh, that's the longest drive I'm going to do today. It's really across, across town, across LA, and then back to Orange County. Okay, last trip of the day is going back home. 128 miles left. Uh, navigation is still trying to figure out what's the best way. Two hours and 30, th oh my God, two hours and 23 minutes uh, for 68 miles. That's nuts. Oh my God. Okay. It's recalculating. 17 se minutes saved. Yes. Keep working. Keep working. Try to save me some time. <laughs> Here's an interesting thing. The car's navigation says I'm going to take two hours and five minutes, but Waze found a way that is an hour and 32 minutes. Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm just holding it while I'm driving. So let's see, Waze says I'm going to arrive at 7.56 and the Tesla thinks I'm going to arrive at 8.29. Let's see who's right.
You know what's funny? I watched a lot of videos on YouTube about people driving their Teslas, road trips and stuff. And they always end up eating junk food. They always stop at junk food places. And um, I don't know. What's up with that? I mean, like, isn't there a healthier choice of food? I mean, like, seriously? Why do you eat so much junk food? <laughs> back um just wrote down the numbers uh, we drove a total of 178.4 miles and we used 182 miles of rated range that's pretty close it's less than four miles off um i think that's really really close um and again like in this test you know i was using the car for the whole day we left at 11 a.m came back now it's um 8:17. So a good nine hours of total use. Uh, parked the car in the sun, so the air conditioning definitely had to use, had to work hard when I got in. And um, yeah, I was going with the traffic again, normal drive for me through LA, a normal um, day of work. And um, the car's rated range is pretty close to what I get. Um, so I'm pretty happy. And again, this car is two and a half years old. Now it has 83,000 miles on it. Um, not a new car, not a dual motor car that are, those are a little more efficient than the one I have. So I'm pretty happy.